How's it going everyone? Kellen Reck here and today we're going to talk about three more camera moves that are going to make your footage look cinematic. And again for this one all you need are your hands and a camera. Okay that's a lens but let's just pretend it's a camera. Cue the intro. So just a reminder before starting into this video, for most of these camera moves, we want to be shooting in slow motion. So set your camera to 60 frames per second or higher so that you can get a nice, smooth, slowed down shot. The slow-mo shots are going to really smooth out any bumpiness because a lot of these are handheld. So shooting in slow motion, a higher frame rate, is going to make all of these work a lot better. So in this first move, the wrap. You can use it in a number of different ways, and it's all about your leg strength in this one, believe it or not. What you wanna do is grab the camera in your hands and set your legs somewhat spread apart, and you wanna focus in on the subject that you're trying to shoot. Now you're gonna lean from one leg to the next leg, keeping the subject in the center of your frame or wherever in the frame you want it to be. And you're just gonna smoothly, using your core and leg strength, turn around the subject that you're shooting, angling the camera towards that subject, and it's gonna keep your shots nice and smooth, nice and steady. It's gonna give you a nice, almost sliding look with a little bit of curve to it. And you can do this with a push or pull as well if you wanna lean forward or lean backwards, keeping the camera steady and focused on your subject. It's gonna give you a great look for your shots. Great camera movement here. This next camera movement's really easy and the best way to do it is to put the camera strap on your camera and wrap it around your neck and then just hold the camera at about arm's length. Best to do it with a wide lens but you can really mix up your focal lengths here and give it a different try. And all you have to do is just either tilt from down to up or from up to down and just reveal the scene that you're looking at. Now if you're using a wide lens for this you get a nice big reveal as the camera very smoothly is moving to show the frame that you're trying to reveal. Now, the reason you want the camera strap around your neck is because it just keeps everything a lot more stable. You get an extra point to sort of stabilize not just your hands, but the back of your neck and your body to keep that camera stiff and steady so that your shot is nice and smooth. And if you do this with not so much of a wider focal length, but something a little tighter, you can get some very nice isolated shots featuring the subject that you're focusing on. So if you're shooting close-ups of a subject, this is a great tool to use. The final trick is a little bit more in-depth than the others. It is a long-form camera movement. So what you do with this is say you have one subject and you want to cover a lot of different parts of that subject, or you have multiple subjects. So you want to cover a bunch of different books in a bookshelf or focus on something where there's a lot of different things that you want to see, but you want to keep it to one camera move. What you do is have your camera in slow motion and you start handheld and you focus in on your first subject. That could be, again, one book in a bookshelf or it could be one part of a person, maybe their hat, and then you're gonna move to something else. Start on that one object and then move your camera while you're still recording quickly to the next part that you wanna focus on. So another book in the bookshelf. Then a few seconds later, move to another book in the bookshelf. In the end, you're gonna have one long shot where at various points you're focusing on one object and then moving your camera along to the next one. Looks a little bit weird as is. For this trick, you wanna bring it into your editing software and use a speed ramp anytime the camera moves so that you suddenly end up with a nice slow-mo isolated shot of the first subject, speed ramps really quickly to the next part of the subject that you're slowing down on, speed ramps to the next, and it can go on for as long as you want. It gives you a really cool effect. And even better, I love sound effects, so you gotta throw a little whoosh sound effect on there to make it a heck of a lot more cinematic and really sell that camera move effect. So I hope you guys enjoyed these three more camera moves. This is video two in this series on camera movement. Be sure to check out the other one that I posted actually about a year ago now. I'm hoping that these three movements can help you out as well. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Wednesday with the goal of helping you become a better filmmaker and photographer. Go ahead and subscribe and ring the little bell down below so you see when I'm posting these videos. And thanks again for watching. We'll check you back in the next one.